after Sarah, so it was long before Sarah was born, and I had no money, and I had lost my job, and I, so I, but I, so I had to keep singing and doing all these travelling all over Scotland, and I had two gigs in one day, and the second gig I seriously did not want to go to. I, had, I was so tired of all the singing I was doing to try and make a few pounds, and I didn't want to do the second gig, so I showed up to the bar, and it was empty. It was like, no one was even there. And then about three people came in and sat in the corner. And then one of the guys came up to me and said, uh, I had just sung, you know the song, The Green Fields of France? Yes. yes. Well, I, had, I just finished singing that, and then this guy came up to me and he said, uh, can you sing me a Harry Chapin song? And I said, I've never heard of him, I don't know. I'm not here. He says, you must have heard this song. I said, no. And um, so I, I basically couldn't sing any songs. And he says, he says, I'm not disappointed, is it? but I, I wish you could have done it, and I'd love to be the guy who introduces you to Harry Chapin. And I said, well, yeah, yeah. I'm checking him out, yeah. I think this was the day, days before YouTube. <laughs> so, so I don't know what I was going to do. But the guy actually came up to me, and he had 20 pounds, and he gave me the money. He gave me 20 pounds, I said, look, I don't need your money. I mean, get me a drink or something, I'll check it out. He says, no, I want you to take the 20 pounds, because when you discover Harry Chapin, then I'll have a piece of your mind. He said, he said I'll buy into, I'm buying part of you by doing this. And I said, no. He said, but you know what I mean when you hear him. So the story went, um, I finished doing the gig that night and I went to the shops. It was a Friday night, I went straight out of town with the 20 pounds. They forced me to take and I bought this, uh, I bought this Harry Shaven Greatest Hits and I like, fell in love with it. Totally, totally. And you know, it's funny how things pan out because at that, that, that time, I wasn't writing many songs. And then when I heard this, I thought, you know, that's the kind of stuff that I would like to be writing. So I'm not saying I do that, but I actually inspired me to do the stuff anyway. So the story goes that I wrote the song, um, a song for Harry Chapin, and I sent it to his wife. Uh, yeah, and it was, and some good friends with the family and everything there. So whenever we're in New York, they always give me a call to, to come up and see them. But So but the, the way I formed the song was this, a kind of idea of, um, you know, it's, it's a long song, I don't know if you noticed that, but it sort of tell, it tries to tell a story of how I sort of found them. And then there's a, a middle section in the song which is it's, it's tied together with a lot of songs, titles that he wrote. And then there the, it sort of finishes. So, but anyway, this is, it's called A Song for Harry Chapin. Okay. 
leave of her damsel Such a better place to be Somewhere in his morning sun Took his morning sunshine. 